my channel or if you are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, I am filming a DIY for you where I show you how I took these vases and pots and made them into these old world inspired pottery pieces. I have been wanting to film this video for quite some time and I had so much fun filming the process and sharing with you how I created these looks. I will also be styling all of the pieces that I create in today's video and showing you different inspirations on how to use these in your home. I did get my inspiration from different websites, so I will leave all the inspiration pieces that I found online in the description box if you would like to check those out. They are definitely on the higher end price range wise, but I still wanted to link those for you in case you are interested. Unfortunately, I will not be able to link any of the vases or pots that I used in today's video because they are no longer available. Now Hobby Lobby is having their 75% off sale, which I mentioned in my previous video. So if you have a local Hobby Lobby, run over there. They have two of these pots that I'll be using in today's video and they are so affordable. I spent less than $30 on all four of these pots and vases that I'll be sharing with you in today's video. I will also be showing you in today's video the exact paint colors that I used and step-by-step -step how I really created these looks. So I'll try to leave all of that link down below as well. And without further ado, if you are not already, please make sure to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram and let's go ahead and get into it. Jumping right in, I wanted to share with you what these pots and vases looked like before we got started on this DIY. This white one is from Hobby Lobby. I got this for $3.50, I believe, a few years ago. And these two yellow pots are also from Hobby Lobby. This one was $5.50 and the larger was $12.50. I really did not like the glaze finish on these, but I really loved the shape and the handles that these had. So very happy that I picked them up and I loved the way that they turned out. So make sure to stay tuned. And this last vase I picked up from a garage sale for $5 and this thing is pretty massive. So very happy I snagged this one up. We are starting with the white pot and we're taking pewter gray, warm buff, and white acrylic paint, mixing that all together in a bowl and then I am adding some baking soda. I will show you later in the video the consistency that I like. I definitely like this to be on the thicker side. This is what gives a lot of texture and that vintage look. So just keep adding in baking soda until you get your desired thickness. Once you've finished painting the whole entire pot, I'm going to take a paper towel and just wipe off some of the excess paint. And then you'll see I am just dabbing some more paint on to the pot and this really gives it a nice textured look. You can use a sponge for this as well. I didn't have one with me so I used a paper towel and it worked just fine. Here's what the pot looked like just with that mixture of three paints and using the paper towel technique to give that nice worn look. Because of the inspiration I was going off of, I wanted to add some more white in there. So I took a paper towel with some white acrylic paint and just dabbed that on there. And then I'm taking the same three colors of paint we used originally and going back and blending that out. I really love the look that this gave and it definitely gives that faux concrete look. So here is the finished product. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I'll have my inspiration pick right here side by side so you can see the two of them. And I will also be styling it for you so you can get some inspiration on how to style it in your home. Now moving 
moving on to these two yellow vases, I'm going to start by taking a flat black spray paint and giving them a nice coat. You don't have to do this perfectly because we are going to go over it with some paint, but I really wanted to get rid of that shiny glaze finish so that we could have a nice canvas to start on. For these, I am taking some pewter gray, raw sienna, and this other really pretty color, rusted pipe with some black paint. I will be doing what I did previously and mixing all of these paint colors together and then adding in some baking soda until I get my desired thickness, and then I'm just going to be putting that all over the base. Then going back in with the paper towel technique and really giving it this beautiful texture. This is one of my favorite parts about creating these really pretty vintage inspired pottery pieces is to give it some character and some texture. Going in with Territorial Beige, I'm going to start rubbing that on the top to give it that more worn look. The inspiration picture that I had had this as well and I really like the different dimension that it gives to the pot and just gives it again that really nice worn look. For the second vase, I'm going to go through and do the same thing that I did on the first one. I'm just using a little different technique when I go and add the territorial beige. I'm using this fan paintbrush and then going back in with a paper towel to give the desired look that I wanted. And here is how they turned out. These are some of my favorite, if not my absolute favorite, out of the whole DIY. I'm also going to be sharing with you how I styled them here on my coffee table. And as you can see here on the screen, I'm going to give a side-by-side -side of my inspiration and my DIY. You will have to let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. We have one more to get onto, but I would love to hear which one you liked best. For this last big vase, I'm going to be taking some joint compound and I'm just going to be rubbing this all over the outside. Nothing too special as you can see, I'm not being super careful about it. I would highly recommend wearing some gloves because this stuff is pretty messy. And once I have it all applied, I'm taking a paper towel and going back in and dabbing it to give it that nice texture. Once that's done, I'm going to set it outside to dry. It was a pretty warm day this day, so it dried within 30 minutes. Once that's done, I'm gonna bring it in and I'll share with you what paint colors I used. I'm taking white, warm buff, and antique white to mix together for this vase. I wanted to show you a close up before we get paint on what it looks like just with the joint compound completely dried. 
I am going to not put any baking soda into this mixture just because it already had such a rough texture to start. I didn't feel like I needed any extra help. So I'm just going through with a big paintbrush and I'm going to be putting that on as a base and then we will go ahead and start adding in some more color. Grabbing our paper towel, I'm just taking some white paint and dabbing that all over like I've done previously. And then again, going back with the same paint mixture to kind of blend that in and give it a nice seamless look. I'm using the same paint color that we used for the black faces at the top to give it more of that worn look. My inspiration picture had this and I'm so happy that I went ahead and did this. So I'm taking a paper towel like I've previously done, dabbing that on, and then I'm going to go back in with the base color to really blend that out so it doesn't look too harsh or anything. These DIYs are seriously so much fun because you really cannot go wrong. They're going to turn out beautiful no matter what, and you can let your creative juices really flow, which I enjoy. So here is how it came out. I'm going to share with you a side-by-side -side of the inspiration picture again so you can see where I got that inspiration from. And then I am also going to show you how I styled it here on my kitchen island. And you will see after I style it, I ended up changing it up and adding back my big vase from Pottery Barn so you get kind of two inspirations in one. So that is going to conclude today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, let me know which one was your favorite in the comments down below. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.